even though Zeri pretty much just came out. All the leaks got confirmed as Renata Glask got revealed. Of course, if you paid attention to Zeri's story, you know that Renata was teased there. That's why these two are coming out so close together. They seem to be linked. And so, without further ado, let's ignore how the internet is on fire because people read her abilities, and let's see if she finally sets Shimmer into the canon universe, as we dive into the bio of Renata Glask. Super quickly before we get to that, we should also mention the ads. You see, originally Renata was teased in a really unique way. If you visited Riot's websites, or any other website that was related to one of Riot's products, you could see pop-up ads that talked about Glask Industries. This is honestly really clever. You'll see how well it is tied to the champion. Anyway, this website revealed that Glask Industries is offering two product lines. There is the luxury line, which has captivating fragrances, self-defense solutions, and augmented limbs. But they also have the diffusion line, here we can find their more affordable chemtech, which includes filtration for masks, replacement limbs, and medical alchemy. They also have our story section. Here they mentioned that they started with a dream to make chemtech affordable, and that they donated hundreds of breathers to victims of a chemical fire. Remember this. And lastly, they mentioned that now they are trying to expand into Piltover 2. Then there is also the Our Founder section, but we don't need to read that one, because everything there will be in the bio. So now, let's get into that. Life had not always been good for Renata Glask. Her parents were brilliant alchemists, focused on innovations for the healing arts. Dedicated to their work and their community in Zone, they gave their care and their cures to anyone in need regardless of whether their patients could afford them. Renata grew up accustomed to going to bed hungry, resentful of her parents' ideology, yet powerless to change her circumstances. She dreamed of the ships that sailed through Piltover's Sungate Canal, imagining herself taking the wheel and steering her life into a new direction, toward the riches of the world. When she was old enough to join the family business, it was quickly discerned that Renata had no aptitude for alchemy. She did, however, have ideas about turning a profit. In her first sales pitch, Renata convinced her parents that they wouldn't need to ask anything more than people could give if they started treating wealthier Zonites. With loyal patients extolling the Glask's talents to their betters, their charity work was soon paid for by the rates Renata set for the rich. Instead of living comfortably, however, the Glask spent that money developing a highly refined chemtech formula to extend the lives of their sickest patients. No matter what they did, the formula always had unwanted side effects, such as making their patients extremely suggestible or extremely violent, so they continued to try and improve their work. Only Renata, bitter at what their parents chose to do with the money she had earned them, wondered if the formula could be useful as is. Up in Piltover, the elite clan leaders who had been making money off of Zonite medical stopgaps heard whispers of the Glask family's research. Not willing to let anything threaten their bottom line, they paid off a handful of enforcers to take care of it. Renata woke up to the sound of their parents' screams as her home burned down around them. She lost her arm, trying and failing to save them. With only her family name and the scraps of research that survived the fire, Renata swore to avoid her parents' mistakes of thankless altruism. Instead, she threw herself into building her meager inheritance into something bigger, something that could give her everything she had never had, something that would give her money and power and control an empire. As the years passed, she became the brains behind several successful small-time operations, while building relationship with unsavory but influential individuals throughout the city. She would give people jobs, lend them money, and give them medicine for their sick children, but never for free. If they couldn't pay the coin, she demanded their loyalty. Renata quickly realized that genius was the rarest and most lucrative commodity in Zone, and devised a plan to invest in destitute youths with talent for innovation. She offered them space to work and stability for their families in exchange for their work in perpetuity. 
The poorest among them couldn't afford to say no. Renata found herself with plentiful access to new and unique product designs and novel uses for the chemical formula that was her parents' legacy. Profits soared. She then established Glask Industries. After purchasing the first of what would eventually be dozens of factories to manufacture her high-end Chemtech products. Glask Industries quickly expanded across zone, from Chemtech mining operations to dance halls to refineries, angering some barons who had held monopolies over the ventures. But one by one, Renata persuaded them all to go into the business with her. And just like that, Renata quietly managed to become a camp baron in her own right. And no one could push back for fear of upsetting their own cash flow. While Glask Industries flourished, Renata herself remained in the shadows, waiting for the right time to make her next move. That time came after a chemical accident sent poisonous fumes sweeping through the streets of Zorn, leaving the city in the worst state in decades. Amidst the noxious grey clouds, Glask Industries offered basic breathers and replacement filters to everyone in the city for free. Now, everyone in Zone knew of Renata Glask and her benevolence. She had earned Zone's loyalty. Word of her generosity swept through Piltover as well. For the first time, shopkeepers looked seriously at Renata's elegant and ultra-refined Chemtech designs and soon lined their shelves with her products. Now, every fashionable Piltoven owns at least one Glask Industries product. And the wealthiest among them vie to sit beside Renata at Novelty Galas and the Opera House. But Renata's plan was never to be a cam baron in Zone or the corporate dartling of Piltover. No, she aims to take Piltover's source of financial power for herself. The Sungate she had dreamed of so often in her youth. For she who controls the Sungate controls the flow of trade. And she who controls the trade controls the world. With a secret cache of her parents' Chemtech formula embedded in every Glask product in both Piltover and Zone, ready to be released at her command, side effects and all, it's only a matter of time before everyone works for Renata Glask. And that was her bio. As always, we immediately have multiple things to talk about. The story mentions how she started by making young people work for her. This is essentially what was referenced in Zeri's story. There are factories where she's essentially forcing people into working for her. And so Zeri is there for the rescue. I like how the bio also mentioned the chemical disaster. This is the same event that forced Victor into creating Blitzcrank so that Blitzcrank could save people down in the toxic fumes, and it is the same event that led into the corruption of Oriana's body. So it's awesome to see that Renata's story pays attention to already established events. And of course, then there is the setup for the future. Apparently, every product Renata Glask ever sold had the mind-corrupting chemical in it. So at any moment, Renata can let all the royalty of Zone and Piltover go into frenzy. And I assume, just like it happens in game, she can unleash pure chaos as everyone starts killing each other. This seems to be a really cool loose threat, which would eventually lead into a story of its own. But I don't think this storyline will be explored in a while, since, you know, the void is still coming. But above all of this, did you notice the main thing of this story? The reason why I was so excited to read the bio in the first place? Her entire bio doesn't mention Shimmer in a single word! It has to be Shimmer, right? Everything is green, this is purple. Why are you doing this to me, Riot? 